Welcome to part 2 of session 20 of the Keepers of the Golden Gate on the 20th of September 2019. Yep, I need painkillers. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Callum. I play Lord Eric Greenwood, the human sorcerer. Hi, I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, who is the half-elf druid. Hello, I'm Scott. I'm playing Crumbar, who's the half orc pallet. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty Lakill, the tabaxi rogue. Hi, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Right, so, meanwhile, in part two, uh, yeah, so Eric wanders in the doors, doors shut behind him, he goes and just starts getting dressed. <laughs> what do? How did you get the door to open? I opened it. Is the door still Without a hammer. Is the door still open? No. I think I said before the break and after the break that the door's closed behind them. Yep. Mm. I, feel I, I feel like Discord's just literally editing out anything I describe for Scott. <laughs> <laughs> just for Scott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, can I try and open the door again? You mean push it? Yeah. Yeah. Does it open? No. Motherfucker. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. So, uh, what's Katie up to? I'm just sat longingly staring at the table, wishing there was food there. Hmm. Uh, Eric, you can have got your clothes donned. Cool. So, what's the plan, guys? Pick up your book, <laughs> etc. The book and hammer are firmly in hand. Probably really awkward, actually, isn't it? Like, some kind of weird battle cleric visual you've got going on. <laughs> yeah, but it shoots lightning instead. <laughs> Can't wait till all six. That'd be even more funny. Level five, I think you're shorted. Well, no, I get the uh, the ability that whenever ah. I cast the lightning ability, I can zap someone else from ten feet of me. That's nice. Storm mm. sorcerers are so cool. <laughs> well, where were yeah, we right in, on the on um, everything? I'm going to get my armor back on as well. Because it doesn't look like we're going anywhere else to anything oh. soon. I do love so that you like you wonder like you went to like push these doors open like half naked, and then you go ah wait a minute Eric how did you get in here oh you're putting clothes on I should put my armor back on <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah you can go get uh, donned as well don said armor yay can't yeah. help but notice no one has told me what the plan is. We have got a plan. I didn't get out of here, but yeah. So yeah, what does MDL say to that then? Does MDL have a plan? So far Reach is looking at Eric saying, we don't have a plan. Yeah. Huh. Other than to get out. Huh. We're trying to go see Aramos, but it seems that the door won't open. Eric, you opened it before, actually. Try opening it. Why don't you try opening it? Just going to wander over and give it a slight push. Doesn't budge. You broke the door, Crumba. <laughs> I broke nothing. Harsh cut back to the scene where his hammer snaps off. <laughs> as yes. Cut back to the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a keyhole in the door? No. There's not even a handle. Ah. Did you break the ha handle off, Kumba? Like, what have you done to the door? I did nothing to the door. Yeah, I'm just going to shrug and go sit on a comfy pillow. And just watch everyone else do their shenanigans. Mm. So, um... Yeah. Anybody got anything they want to do? Let's let's go down the list, right? So Eric, 
you go off to sit in the, the seating, do you do anything, say, one round's worth of effort, or just chill? I'm going to throw the book in front of me and shoot it with a rate of cold. So do you mean like set it on the table in front of you and do that, or set it on your lap and do that? On the table in front of me, I'm not going to be touching this thing. So, Kitty, maybe that like startles you as this book gets slammed on the marble. It makes like a thud. Yeah, and I see what he's about <laughs> to do and just go, huh, nope, and run away. <laughs> <laughs> um, where, do, where do you go then? Like, what's your like your one route, like one turn's worth of action? What would you like to do? Um, I'd like to roll. Um, like, what would it be? I'd like I to roll to solve the current problem. <laughs> <laughs> what, what just just roll about the cart the floor, yeah. Yeah, just roll around. Um It's that little box roll. roll out cat, that's what it is. <laughs> um, There's no cat in the bundle floor, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I just sort of wanna look around the place, see if there's like any hidden doorways or anything. Like um uh, <laughs> trying to move stuff. Uh what would that be? Perception? Hey, investigate if you're looking for like a hidden door. Investigation. Did it work? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, um. There is no like you've you've looked over places before. I won't go into the reasons why you were looking for like secret things, hidden things, but we we know, we know. <laughs> I'm a rogue for a reason. <laughs> so not to be classist, but yep. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're used to like looking for like dust that's been moved on a floor or like one side of a painting that's got less dust on it than the other etc or fingerprints or grease marks or whatever um, mm-hmm. slightly grubby wallpaper at certain parts nothing seems tarnished in any way in this room but there also doesn't seem to be any seams to anything in this place it all weirdly flows into each other so mm. like when you get to a corner and you go to like almost like investigate or prod into the corner and such it's as if the depth vanishes and you're on a flat wall I don't like this it is quite unnerving because it's that way where um, the best comparison would be vertigo if you get that kind of oh god the ground is further away than it needs to be and my brain needs it to be closer and yeah you have a bit of that to the perspective of this place where the more you try and work it out almost like the harder to not be worked out the room tries to be that is the weirdest mm. way of describing something but go for it um <laughs> but maybe this has got like your curiosity like totally transfixed where it's like this isn't how things work I just can't keep running to different corners. <laughs> yeah, and you find that, like, you've... Let's say you take a few minutes, because it takes about, was it ten minutes for him to put his armour on anyway? So, while uh, Eric puffs up the courage to shoot this book, um, you maybe spend five minutes or whatever checking this out. So far, you've counted 37 corners to the room. <laughs> Christ. But when you stand back and look around, it's a circular room. So yeah. It so it's basically pic- everyone a computer. Does it just get pixelated when she goes into one of the corners? <laughs> Level of detail, yeah. Yeah, it's very very unnerving. I think maybe if you stand in the middle, you almost have that moment of dizziness as well, where it's like, okay, I've spun around too much, even though I actually haven't. <laughs> I haven't even spun around once, but for some reason I feel like I have. Um, it definitely seems to be the more thought you put into it as well, the worse the vertigo. As if trying to work it out isn't advised. Yeah. Um, But, like when you go up to, like, say, a fancy picture on the wall, it's quite clear that it's part of the wall. As if, you know, someone constructed this in one go. Mm. As opposed to built the room and then put a picture on the wall having put a nail into the wall to hang the picture on, etc. None of that seems yeah. to have happened. It seems like the wall, the picture, the room is all one. Um, yeah. I think as well, 
you get to the point where, because the 17 is pretty damn good for an investigate, you maybe do that thing where you step back into the middle of the room, kind of looking around, that vertical kind of dizziness hits you a bit. Then you start thinking about the air in the room. Now I told you it's all like, this is it's a weird humidity to the, the atmosphere of this place. Um, mm -hmm. Like the air is strange. And the more you think about that, the harder it is you find to breathe. But then, is it just like a panic attack you're having? Um, so, how much would that get to Kitty? I'll let you, because I'm not going to roleplay for you here, but at that point, <laughs> how much does that get to um, you? Or is it something you can actually shake off? Like, are you quite good at like getting rid of like your nerves or your panic attacks? Or is it something that's a bit overwhelming? Well, being a rogue, you, you're going to be used to like small spaces and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it, I'm guessing it's like it's a more magical feeling to it. So it's like, I know this shouldn't bother me, but it's bothering me, which is making me more anxious about it. Yeah, like when someone says don't breathe so loudly or don't say yeah at the end of every sentence and then you can't not but think about it. Mm. So like this stuff wouldn't normally bother me, but this isn't a normal setting, so it's like... And now you're like hyper aware of it, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we have like really deliberate breathing from you, like... Mm. <laughs> like my eyes seem wider if possible, because you know... <laughs> yeah. So you have this kind of really kind of... Oh, I guess m mini trip to yourself about the room. Yeah. Um, do you vocalise that to anyone or do you kind of just internalise it all? I don't really know how I'd explain it to him, to be fair. So it's like, I can't even express in words what I'm experiencing. I'm just getting more panicked from the looks, from the like outside. Yeah, so is it quite visible to other people then? Like, if, like would somebody notice you a bit? If anyone was near me, like close enough, then mm -hmm. it would be quite obvious. To be fair, I'm guessing my ears are just switching as well. MD could have noticed this that's willing to, probably not Crumbar as he's putting stuff on, but MD yeah. else that's kind of not doing anything for five minutes probably saw you run around the room a lot um, yeah. <laughs> as you were like trying to follow corners that you know they saw you run in circles um, so yeah MD approaching the bad trip cat <laughs> bad too much catnip <laughs> there's corners man there's corners everywhere <laughs> but there's no corners <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go if I notice anything. Put a hand on her shoulder very gently, and you know, the way you'd approach a, a scared animal that's been cornered, and kind of like, are you okay? I, I think, still flinch, but I, I say, realize it's that, a friend. <laughs> I was gonna say that is like a grounding moment right there for you. See, as soon as like she puts like her hand on like your shoulder, it's that moment of. Like, you'd get mm. distracted enough that it isn't pressing on your mind. There's no like pressure of, yeah. oh god, oh god, oh god, I need to think about how to breathe. How do I breathe? Do, 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 do I always manually breathe? Um, <laughs> and as soon as that happens, it's the same as like if you've got static charging and you touch something to ground yourself. Instantly you're like, oh, yes. hello. Mm. <laughs> sort of like pulls you out of it enough that you sort of get your stuff back together. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, helpful. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And you just you spot um, Arya asking. Maybe like you had that blurry, oh god, there's noise speaking at me, and then you turn and go, oh, it's Arya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this this room's weird. It's sort of weird. like the only way I can explain How? it. <laughs> um, okay. Try, try find a corner. A corner. And to me, the room looks round, right? Yeah. And I'll be like, the room is round. Exactly. No, wait. Um, <laughs> and I sort, of, sort of start to get a bit panicked. But, but again. then again, you know, <laughs> I've seen like magic y weird stuff earlier, so I'm thinking maybe you're looking into the magical makeup of this place, and that's probably what's. It's a somebody happening. else's problem. You're best just not to think about it. Yes. Go insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. See me running around in circles again. <laughs> oh no, the cat's on it again. <laughs> Nobody puts Kitty in the corner as what's been stuck in that. Cats that literally run around the walls, uh, halfway up the walls. Yeah. <laughs> so many pictures. God, it's so terrible. I'm sorry, everybody else who was listening. Um, 
But yeah, um, yeah, I guess while that's happening, then we'll click back to Eric, unless Reach has anything he wants to do in that five minute gap. No. Just help Crumbar pop his armor or are you sitting doing right? anything. Nah, he can get it himself. Yeah. I'm not touching his clothes. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Way too naked for that. So you head over to where um, Eric is then, right? So Eric's slammed this book on the, the, the marble kind of table cushion combo and has been staring at it for a second or two just to buy Kitty the time to run around crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is there any kind of like preparation you're doing, Eric, that Reach would notice, or do you say anything when you approach him, Reach? Well, I've taken a few steps back from the book, okay. and I've kind of got like my finger in a gun shape aimed at the book, contemplating when I should shoot. Ah, the well-known gun shape yes. of this world. <laughs> should I give you some room here? <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to hit it, you know. I ain't hit the spell that often. We just hear a uh, okay, going, there's too much room. Yeah. So, I'll like, reach to you. Couch, uh, could pull out a cushion, I mean, and just move it out the way. Yeah, like so. pull it out of the semicircle and move it away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, what's the plan, Eric? We're gonna try and shoot this because I don't think I've hit this ability more than like a, f- a couple of times. Like realistically. It's a non-moving target, right? So it's a pretty easy thing to hit. So, like, we're in a small enclosed room with no exits. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, in like the city of magic. So it's. I mean, I want to say the base is like an AC ten. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what a door is, isn't it? Yeah. So. Yeah. so Yeah. I'll give a roll and... Nope. <laughs> Doc, okay, everyone. It's okay. <laughs> Happen, happens to everybody. One in ten, you know. Performance anxiety. <laughs> yes, that's that's totally what it is. <laughs> so you just like freeze a random bit at the table. I'm just like, look at my hand. I'm like, maybe if I use two fingers pew, instead pew. of just the one. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, I'm going to fire again. It's clearly the two fingers. Cool. Roll damage. Cool. Take one point of cold damage. Yeah, that's quite fun. Oh wait, there's like a little little effect as well. When did you learn Ray of Frost, anyway? (laughs) Silence. Um... Last level. This level. No, oh, right. Uh, so maybe it's like fro- like your hand's a bit frostbitten for having cast it twice so quickly. Hence the point of damage. Yeah. It's never done that before though, which is interesting. So, hmm. Oh, I guess that's we're going to open it. Mm. Yeah, the book looks unfazed. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it with your hammer. I mean, have that you tried to hit it with your hammer? so well last time. Well, you have a magic hammer, so me. I mean, last time I tried to hit it, I ended up falling through a portal. Yeah, so do that again. You might get us out and then you can open the door. <laughs> I don't know where it will lead me. It's also not charged. That's true. I have to sit down and charge it, but I'd need a long rest for that. Mm-hmm. Maybe if she does, it's take a long rest. You need to wait like a day and then take a long rest. Because you only get the benefits of a long rest once every 24 hours. Or once per day, they don't really specify day. Mm-hmm. Um, we haven't had a long rest in a while. Uh, you had yeah. one moments ago. No, we didn't. We had a, a you drank medicine. A, you drank a potion that gave you a long rest. It didn't give us any hit I'm points. Literally, it, it did. It gave you. It gave us hit points. Oh, yeah. No, it, it gave you every single thing a long rest would give you. Uh, you said only up, up hit points to maximum. Uh, up to the costs. priests 
healed you that way. Yes, the potion you drank did the long rest. Before the hands. All right, all right. Before the fight. Yeah. yeah. Right. Don't worry. I'm tracking my game. Uh, Don't you worry. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, within a day you have had your long rest, so you yeah. will not benefit. I'm just trying to hang there, there must be some way that we can get out of this room. That's maybe a reason why Justoria got priests this time. Ah, the potion of long rest. Mm. So what's the plan? Team. I want to go punch Story my book. Justoria, where are you? <laughs> I'm going to go and bang on the door. Actually, that might be a point. Just store the open door. <laughs> like she's at Alexa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Justoria, open the door. <laughs> oh dear. No, it's a, it, it, I was going to say, it's a um, Echo. And then it's also yeah. a Magna. <laughs> um, okay, Magna. <laughs> anyway, other such creepy AI learning devices also exists. Um, so Eric, yeah. let's just go down the line. Eric, oh, what are you yeah. doing? So you I'm going to punch my book. Okay, cool. Uh, roll strength, I guess. Um, the saving throw? No. This, no this sorry, that one. That one. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Connect. Roll, roll um, is a D4. D is it that though? I think it's just the. Uh... I think it's just one, by the way. Yeah. But then, isn't it like minus the stat or something? I'm sure like a non proficient person has to take away because you're really bad at strength. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you kind of just punch the book and nothing really of note happens. I think it's the easiest way to summarize that. Cool. You just punch a book. Somewhere mm -hmm. in the distant coma. Eremos is sad. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come out like, how dare you punch book about like that? The you like the lore master or lore keeper of like uh, Valfiel twitches somehow. You know, someone stopped being nice to a book somewhere. Um, but yeah, nothing of note happens. Uh, Kitty has come down from her trip. Uh, anything you wanna do, Arya? Anything you're gonna do? Reach anything you're gonna do? Mostly before Crumbar like goes and knocks on the door. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go for it, Crumber. So I'll just go over and just give a massive, like, bang, 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 bang on the door. Cool. Yeah. They don't even budge. It's like you're hitting a wall. So nothing happens, no one responds. Uh, what else actually is there in the room apart from the pillows? So, one plus three. As you maybe turn around and kind of go, oh. Yeah, so it is, is it one plus strength? So technically it's yeah, zero. It is. Awesome. Good. Yeah. Thank you, Brain. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, the. Someone else is in the room with you, Grumbar. You've just noticed this because you're probably turning around and looking at everybody who's probably looking at you expectantly that you would have knocked on the door. Um, and Magna. Is it the other side of the room? When did you get here? My uh, favorite key. Uh, just staring like dead at. I'm just because I'm I'm just pissed that we've been locked in a room. He uh, he doesn't respond to that. He says, "I have been made aware that you have come to Horizon with another." Yes, and we're trying to go and see him. But this door is locked. Him? And his eyes narrow. And he now looks at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just kind of grin. I'm like, yes, him. Interesting. And then... He puts Are you interested in... No, no. So he puts his hand to the side, and again, in kind of like red vapor, uh, his like black staff appears, and the jewels kind of glowing at the top of it. And then he says, "We'll see." And then you all get pulled into red vapor, and you all appear out of red vapor, 
in the uh, the room with Aramos kind of floating there, where the cushion's been moved away from underneath him. <laughs> There's like a platter lying on the floor. Um, so, uh, yay! <laughs> I know what Kitty's about to do. It's like I'm going to live. Uh, Aramos is a book. Is lying there as well, obviously on the floor. Is Aramos still a uh, carrot? <laughs> I think what you mean is, is Aramos still floating in the middle, covered in bitch and tattoos? Yes. Yeah, is he a vegetable? Uh, and then he kind of, as I said, Magna's in the room, and he kind of looks over, and he kind of like runs a hand over the kind of like the top of the kind of almost text cocoon, if you will, and mm-hmm. then a. Uh, he says, How did you come by this? He's kind of not really speaking uh, to anyone specifically. He, the voice just fills the room. He's kind of too busy looking at... I'm sorry, I didn't almost. quite understand it. How well, what, what? How did you come by this? Is what he asked. Oh. I just, I, I say, um, I, I just kind of look at Aramos uh, and just look back at him and go, The tattoos? And then Magna kind of like stands up after having kind of leaned over a uh, Aramos, and then kind of looks for anyone else to answer. By this, you mean the child, don't you? Again, his eyes narrow in that same way they did when a uh, Crumbar said him, and uh, he says, "Child." The boy is only ten, so yes, he's a child. <laughs> Doesn't even acknowledge Grumbar. Doesn't even acknowledge. Like, mm. I think you're probably standing side on to him at the moment anyway, like, he's probably, like, facing full body on to, like, the rest of the group mostly reach at this point since he was responding he, to him. He, f- he was alone in the forest. Uh, and he wanted to come along with us. That's how we f- he come across him. How oh, very interesting. Why are you so intrigued by the our friend? He does look at you this time and he goes, You consider this to be a friend? I do, yes. Well, of course you would. Look at you. Barbarian (laughs) blood coursing through your veins, clutching at your weapon, your tools. Uh, And what staff you've got there? (laughs) He's not not actually holding a staff. Oh, is he not? Nope. Is that the other red jewel was? He, in the other room, it appeared, he grabbed it, you all right. came here, and he just right. is looking over him. What, like it's not it nev- as if it never came with him. Right, right. It's almost like he's that high a level; he doesn't always need to hold his weapon. Yeah, you can tell <laughs> he's <laughs> himself or something. Yeah. So, um, there is. I just there is more to me than being a a barbarian. I left that life felt behind a long time ago. He kind of motions towards like your your armor, and this is. I never called you a barbarian. You're clearly civilized. I said you had barbarian blood coursing through your veins. If you're going to talk back to me, quote me correctly. I'll just kind of grin and be like, Apologies. But please, explain why you think that that would... my, My blood would be why I consider him a friend. He kind of motions to, like, <laughs> your probable death grip on your hammer by this point, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because it's, it's that kind of way. I'm not going to lie. The thought of, I should really just hit the bitch with this, but at the same time, I should know my place. Mm. Uh, again, like, this is the point of roleplay. So he gestures to the, the hammer in your hand, and he says, You're clearly fond of that tool, much like this one. And he motions back to uh, Aramos's kind of floating body. This is simply another tool, a weapon, 
if you will if that makes it easier for you to if you, understand sorry, you, sorry Ryan you cut out there you just said if you yeah so he's essentially saying to summarize him you think of Eremos as a friend but clearly you obviously think of your hammer as a friend given how tightly you clutch at it to be honest he does but, I mean he breaks his friends but uh, so, <laughs> anyway all of this is out of character this is me yeah, summarizing so, yeah. what the gist of Magna's commentary is as he motions to Eremos and he calls Eremos a tool and a weapon if it's easier for you to comprehend and back in the roleplay <laughs> the right tool for the right job I guess if my, my hammer is a tool for destruction what do you think he's a tool for what do you think he is a tool for if you consider him a friend clearly you have thought of a purpose for him Learning. There's like a Sounds distinct like eyebrow raise from Magna potential. when yeah. you say that. Yeah. Guys, how much do you want me to... How much can I just absolutely drop us in it? You don't want no. to say we kidnapped him effectively, right? Yeah, no, no, I'm not. I'm, Except I'm not. for that, right? So we we killed a bunch of your guards. We put them in a river, and then we looted them. Also, uh, we then <laughs> stole your bitchin' weapon that writes loads of books. Uh, taught him to fight. Took him to hell, basically. Uh, uh, now he's in a weird egg coma. You're I welcome. Just back just a little bit from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I wasn't, wasn't, wasn't going to go. Let's um, find out what Arya's doing in this moment, though. So yeah, I wasn't going to go that far. Um, obviously, I I know what actually happened, and I know mm -hmm. my friend here is fibbing big time, and I don't know if the king knows they were fibbing. So I'm I'm kind of like looking in between them. Like, I don't think anyone specifically lied yeah. yet. I'll be honest. Might not be I, I, the full truth as we know yeah. it, but uh, no one's directly lied. We, we didn't to the exactly, king. we didn't exactly find him in the forest. To be honest, he was in the forest and we found him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I'll I, give you that. Yeah, that that seems he was, reasonable. <laughs> he was okay. in the tower in the forest. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Ah, uh, well, it's because it's in called the case... bitter wood. Ah, uh, it's more of a woods than a forest. <laughs> <laughs> I think what I would want to do, because obviously, like, we've seen the king free um, <laughs> that big scary dude that his daughter couldn't do anything against, and we've seen, you know, we've seen her do some pretty crazy shit. So. I might my priority obviously because I care about the kid. I, I I'll I'll try to like essentially change the subject <laughs> and ask. I cast Have you got segue. Any idea? <laughs> 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 Pardon me, but have you have you got any idea what's what's wrong with him? Can can this be fixed? Yeah, I'm you, I'm I'm a bit worried about him. This isn't normal. And I'll let that hang in the air, like... I think it does hang in the air, though. That's the thing. Like, Magna does turn to, like, normal. take in what you say. But then... He's kind of just staring as if, like... He's clearly thinking about what you said. But dead eye contact, like, staring straight at you. Um, probably a wee bit uncomfortable as well. But he's... Maybe when you can kind of, a couple of seconds pass, you realize he's kind of staring through you. Like his eyes aren't tracking you anymore. Um, he's obviously thinking. And then uh, he turns back to like kind of floating cocoon, Eremos. And he says, "This is mine. I will be leaving. My daughter wishes me to pass on her gratitude." to you and she will be with you momentarily when she is composed thank you Wh for your assistance today this child is your slave and then he kind of turns his back to you 
puts his hand out. The staff appears from like the red vapor again, and then he just says over his shoulder, "This is no child." And then they vanish in the kind of red vortexy vapor. No, I ran off. Yeah. Well, that's one less pain in the ass we have to deal with. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. I, I go and slap you on the arm, like is not not like to I use damage, dodge. but like to like. <laughs> I think when you do, you you end up uh, scuffing your foot off his book. Yeah, I use my book oh. as defense. No, no, Aramos's book. Yeah. So when Arya so goes I, to move I, to Aramos's book, right? So he took the kid, but not the book. The kid, but not the book. Yeah. Yeah. I pick up the book and I open it, see if it makes any sense now. Nope, all blank. Okay, I'm just... I'll put it in my bag. Add just... Aramos's book to your bag. <laughs> I will, I will, I will. I'm just standing there, like, really pissed off. You might want to write it down as Eremos's fave book, since it, he was only allowed hey, to mate. bring one, remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. got a book of his from ages well, ago. Well, he gifted yeah. you one, yeah. remember? Yeah, he did. Can I open it up and just check, see if I can see anything in that? No. no. Yeah, um, it's, still, it's still blank, but do you remember what he said to you about it? Or something that will... Open. No, I can't actually remember. It, the gist of what he said was, he's like, but it'll let you read it when it wants to be read by you. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Right. When it feels comfortable with you, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, yeah, you can add Eremos's favourite book onto your inventory. I did. Um, I'll make myself a note that you have that too. So I don't I'll wrap up his book in the blanket I've got, by the way, and then put it back in my backpack, so keep it nice and the one he gifted, or the one you offer your blanket to Arya? No, no, my, your my one. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Right, yeah. Yep, yep, cool. Okay. Um, Hermos, fave book with Arya. There we go. Mm -hmm. Right, so, so just did I'm, I'm just being very pissed off, and I just turned to the group. I mean, to be fair, you've just been thanked by the king of the world. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, but he took our yeah, friends. So. But he, he he took care of us. I didn't <laughs> drag him halfway around the world just to have some topless purple fuck steal him. <laughs> so I just yeah, that wasn't the reason. It was to chuck him at the demons, wasn't it? That was why you dragged him halfway around the world. With you. <laughs> I have this uh, going through my head just now to everything yeah. Crumbers you said. <laughs> what was I? The uh, the latest gif in the chat. It's just a, <laughs> is he though? When you're like, you know, he's been kidnapped. You're like, I feel like mm. you stole him first, maybe. Yeah, you you yeah. guys did steal him. God. <laughs> Are your hands clean yet from having washed yourself of the party? Like oh, over there, look. Eric. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I stayed out of this because they stole him, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Know how aware of that you are, by the way, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you guys told me. Yeah, I don't either think way, kidnapped. But anyway, we need to find. We need to uh, find Justoria. I need to speak with her. Oh, well, she'll be here shortly, apparently. So we just need to wait. Unless you've got Justoria summoning spell. <laughs> Akio Justoria. <laughs> <laughs> the entire of Horizon folds in itself. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so are you going to... Any chance of some munches whilst we're waiting? <laughs> Apparently not, I'll take nope. some. <laughs> the, um, the food is stale when you go to bite into it. Mm. Yeah, I'll leave it. Like, be one the platter's kind of there, it doesn't seem to be like, reproducing itself anymore. It's almost like whatever magic made it do its thing hasn't been maintained. Um, yeah. But this room doesn't look as kind of warm, I guess, as it used to, in that kind of comforting vibe. But maybe it's like it sets in that it's a bit of a colder stone room now. Um, but then that might also just be because, obviously, the the weird shenanigans that happened earlier. Now, do you stay in the room or do you just head? Because there is a door to this place. Wait, is the door now open? 
Uh, no, oh, but there is a door. You also remember you moved to the room where Hermos was being kept because Magna took you all there with his staff. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Any comfy seats? Uh, not in here. There's just that one big cushion Hermos was kind of. I'm gonna sit on I'm mobility. I get right. Is that what you just say as you plonked yourself down? Yep. <laughs> I go and I go and try the door. See if we can leave. Cool. Because I want to go find the story. Uh, yeah. If that's what's running through your head, you open the door and there's a cord right outside. What? Um, sorry. And. Yep. You maybe want to turn me up, by the way, on your volume slider. No, you're <laughs> no, no, you cut out. You really? open the door and then it cut out. Really? Cliffhanger. And there's a corridor outside. Corridor. Right. Yes. Okay. End of sentence. <laughs> Full stop. Period. End of line. Uh, right, so I, I'm i going to go off and try and find Jastoria. Does anyone want to come with me? I like my cushion. My cushion's quite comfy. <laughs> to be fair, it's a, it's a pointless gesture. She knows where we are. Yeah, Magda said we. Be... Yeah, Magda said to be along when she's um, recovered. Right. Fine, and I just kind of like sit down and just pull up my. So do you go back in the room and close the door? Yeah, yeah, back in the room, close the door, just sit down and lean against the wall and pull up my jug and just, you know, plug, plug away at it. Okay. It has been a while. Um, I don't think you've used it on this day. No. So, no. what are you summoning? Beer! Okay, well, there, there's beer. Maybe as soon as he picks up the jug, that the, the smell fills the room. Um, is that kind of way? I, 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 I think the jug would just know what it is that I'm wanting. <laughs> just by, like... So it's just like, yep. Be, like I can tell from my mood. I mean, I'm also pretty sure you don't need to actually see it, I don't think. Do you? I, don't, I can't remember the no. rules are of it. Uh, you can use an action and then name one liquid. Yeah, so you need to name table. it. You do need to see it. Out <laughs> so, okay, in that case, I sit down, I pull it with a jug, and I just look at it and go, beer. And then it just, as it just tops up, and then I think just, the like, shot we get of the kind of golden carafe as well, as you kind of hold it in two hands in front of you, and kind of just your head slumps forward, and you just look at mm. sad, slightly distorted crumbar in the reflection, and just go, beer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then the smell fills the room. Um, yeah, so it's everything else done. Relax it on my comfy pillow cushion. Uh, Cool. How long are you going to wait? A day, and then we're going to wait an extra eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. So I think we should like try to get some sleep because I kind of have a feeling that somebody's going to show in our dreams now that we, you know, kind of fucked up without wanting to. Yeah. And possibly give us some instruction or help or whatever I'd be up for taking a short rest yeah well let's put it this way half an hour passes nothing happens except crumb bars just drinking then Glug. another half an hour passes and then you have achieved a short rest so cool. anything that you want to do with the short rest I want to I wanna get some HP okay yeah That works, yeah. It's pretty decent, yeah. Not bad, huh? Yeah. It's pretty damn good. Yeah. What are you at now? 19. That's actually that 26. Yeah. If you rolled that again, that'd be good. Are you going to yeah, go again, or? Just... Yeah. Yeah, I might as well. Ah. Still health, though. Still health. Yep. And then, obviously, mark off two hit die from your list. Yeah. 
Right, so, yeah, the error passes. We still sat here twiddle our thumbs? Yup. And then another error passes, unless anyone's doing anything. I'm gonna stand up and be like, right, shall we get a move on? Because she's clearly not coming. Yeah, we've got no Good. chance of Some... getting out. Good, someone has sense. So I stand up as well and go for the door again. Have we yeah. still got our letters? Uh, yeah. Don't think you lost yeah. them, did you? No. Yeah. Did they have any map on them at all from where we are? Uh, as you like unfold yours again, uh, yeah. it says meet me in my study. Uh. <laughs> hey, follow the line. Let's go for, find the study. Uh, there's no line because you're in a room. Right, I'll take the lead. Follow me. Okay. Right. You go to the door. Mm -hmm. Open door, study, let's go. You open the door, you all walk out into the corridor, and then you just end up walking through two doors into our study. Cool. Hmm, cool. And obviously she's in a different outfit. Is, what is it? Is it like a blue one, a green one? <laughs> Uh, it's um, various kind of shades of orange and gold. So yeah, she's um, sat at her desk and she got like little half-framed glasses on, and uh, she looks up and again she kind of smiles warmly and then she kind of says, "Come in, come in, please, S sit, be well." Um, and she kind of eagerly scrawls something down on a scroll uh, with her quill. And wraps it up, and then just like holds it up to the the air, and it just burns away in purple flame. And then she stands up, and then kind of smiles. And I, I assume you all ferry in and sit down. I want to stay standing now. I had a a brief break of sitting down. Yeah, I mean, it has literally been like two hours of you just sat around doing nothing. So I fair. Yeah. Um. And then so she, just right. Yeah, and she just like she stands kind of around the other side of her desk, uh, and she says, "Does anyone need anything to uh, eat or or drink?" Can you Teddy, get that fill in platter? She kind of like smiles and puts like her hands up, like one against like Crumbar and one against Eric. She goes, "Please, boys, one at a time." <laughs> <laughs> I do the polite thing and, let, and do like a little gesture to allow Crumbad to speak. Well, I'm sure Kitty would want her would want the platter back. So yes, I am quite famished as well. Food would be good. Preferably a smaller plate that might also actually be a bag rather than a plate. <laughs> <laughs> she kinda She's like, a fat cat. She kind of like looks a bit. Like what? What even is that request? Uh, but she dismisses it very politely, very quickly, uh, and smiles. And she goes, "Please sit. Um, we will have." Uh, and then she just kind of summons like a banquet. So, the kind of squarish kind of marble table thing that sat on the kind of cushion, the marble slab thing, kind of becomes like three times longer. Um, as food just kind of like appears, and it's just so many different types of fruit. And random different kind of um, a kind of like crystal carafes of different uh, liquids, and again plates of like meats and things like that as well. There is obviously skewers of uh, scorpions, obviously, um, fried etc. Um, and she says there should be something to everyone's taste here, and then motions back to the. Like in a seated area, which seems bigger somehow. So, like fish and chips here? Because I'm dying for some fish and chips. Uh, there's definitely like fish and such um, lying there. Chips, probably not. But like potatoes, yeah, sure, why not? Cool. Chips and potatoes. No, fish and potatoes. Yeah, that one. Um, and then she kind of just sits uh, on a cushion with like her legs kicked out to the side and her kind of like orange robe kind of like half tucked over her, like her arm as she sat um, very gracefully 
And then she kind of like politely waits till everyone kind of like starts eating. Assume everyone just tucks into whatever they fancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, also, Arya, you're rustling so bad. <gasps> sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um. Yeah. So. Just story. Did these problems start two, or three months ago? She looks a bit like oh, as if she's just been addressed. Um, and she says, "Yes, I am. Um, I was explaining to your companion. She motions to Arya. She says, the the garden, the the trees, the." My apologies for that. Not a very welcoming reception, despite my invitation. The she does seem really out of it, and uh, the way she's speaking, like she's I don't know, got lots on her mind, maybe, um, as if she's almost like stumbling over her own politeness to be like, oh. You were attacked. Probably should apologise for that. Probably should try and explain what I'm trying to explain at the same time. Also, mm -hmm. got a lot going on else in my head, trying to work out what the fuck just happened to me. So, all that's going on in her head. And I, she says, Yes, um, did you ever introduce yourself by name to her? Are you? I would have thought we all did, but I genuinely cannot remember. It doesn't matter because she yeah. knew your name to address a letter to you anyway. But I just want to know if you'd said it to her. Cause oh. I can't remember if um. I I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, did we, guys? I generally don't. I remember. don't think so, by the way. But yeah, I don't think you ever did. I'm, I just don't think. But just because again, you were invited, right? Um, so she she never then refers to you by your name in that case. She just says companion, uh, and gestures to you. As I was saying to your um companion. There has been wild magic, arcane energies disrupting order. Um, this does seem to tie in with, and then she describes obviously two months ago, I, like the disturbance that she felt. And she kind of says, What of this do you know? By this point, she's kind of she's clasped like her hands in front of her. By this point, yeah, we know there's great trouble to the east. Uh, yeah, about like right. at the oh, fiery hole in the desert. Was it great chasm? Oh. The um, abyss. The abyss. At the abyss. Yeah. yeah, at the abyss. Uh, in fact, we think the golden order there might be in trouble soon. Oh. oh. And then um, she looks a bit shocked at that, and then um, she motions to, like, yourself, and she kind of like looks over at Crumbar and looks back at you, reaching us. Is this why you were tasked to go to the abyss? How did you know we were tasked to go to the abyss? Yeah, she probably must have, I guess. It's how I knew to address letters to each of you. And pray tell, why did you summon us in the first place? She kind of like waves her hand dismissively like you said something funny and she says, I'm not one for prayer, my dear. I'm more a fan of inner strength. And she kind of like, you know, pumps her chest up a bit, you know, pulls her shoulders back a tiny bit. And then she says, I... Mm, and she kind of like struggles to explain and she looks over at Arya because um, she has explained all of this to Arya um, remember she pulled up Whoops. the map and everything uh, of mm. she detected something in the Bitterwood you guys happened to be there and then yeah yeah she, um, it's more so just I know that I know obviously that but that Crumbar doesn't Arya, know that it though. Doesn't, didn't happen with us so. yeah and it's just but this is why she feels it's weird to repeat herself considering to her it might be that it seems rude to repeat that. Uh, like Arya's also shapeshifted into a fish, it seems. Um, yeah. <laughs> Eric's eyeing her up with his uh, 
potatoes and fish. Could cook that. Um, so I'm so sorry. I keep thinking I'm muted when I'm not muted, and then I keep speaking okay. when I am muted. <laughs> so Justoria is kind of looking at you as if do you want to explain this to your companions? Because she's already been through it, and she feels it's rude to explain it again if you're already here. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, I choked so hard I'm actually crying right now. <laughs> um, so, what happens is we have had a, a conversation earlier. That, um, um, Princess Historia was kind enough to, to give me an idea of, uh, of uh, how she knew um, uh, that, that she also knew there was something um, going on in the abyss and that she contacted us specifically because because she knew we were looking into that. Ah. If I remember correctly. And like the story just kind of the turns to the destruction. Crumbar and kind of just smiles as if, see? <laughs> mm -hmm. But like in a kind of nice way as if to say, good, I didn't have to repeat myself and that would be really rude. Yeah. Well... What we found in the abyss was highly disturbing and we think it could be the cause of these incidents that have been occurring. And then she, kind of, said, she leans forward like, is, and like puts a hand, fingers splayed out on the cushion as if to balance herself in front of her, kind of in between maybe both of you. And she leans over quite excitedly and quite swiftly and says, This was my thinking too. Now, can you tell me more about what happened to you in the abyss? Tell her about the door. Yeah, um She quickly like snaps her head to you and then back to Crumber. For a start, uh what was the thing's name? Oh Lord Jonas. Jadis? Yeah. So like you hear Eric pipe up across the table. Just slam my hammer on the table, but like, you give me this. And you, wait, can't, wait, the hammer, you know what happened last time you did so it. You <laughs> set the hammer on the table and she goes, and what is this? It's a She probably gem. can't see it from the pile of food in the way, but... <laughs> it's a gem that you, uh, a, a god called Janus put on my hammer. It allows me to um, teleport, I suppose, much like your father can with the red mist. This Janus saved us in the abyss. Uh, it it's, looks as though literally looked like all hell was breaking loose. There was a ritual going on that summoned a giant demon. That's the at that exact point where Crumbar mentions ritual summoning giant demon is the only thing that kind of breaks her attention away from staring at the hammer. Then she turns to kind of Crumbar, looking kind of concerned. Can you describe this demon, this ritual, anything, please, details? Too big. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember it. Um, remember. The 4th of December. <laughs> you just hear Mufasa outside in a cloud. <laughs> uh, guys, can anyone else remember stuff about it? I'm trying to, but I really can't. Uh, well, there was a big red, well, there was a red doorway. Janus was standing at that, but it was as if it was a portal. There was uh, three guys. And she turns around to you, obviously, because you're the one now describing things. And she says, yeah. was this in in the chasm of the abyss? It was like, as if I was in a room just off it. That was uh, that the creatures in the abyss were scared to go into or go near. That was... The old god's temple, perhaps? That sounds quite likely. And you were able to enter this temple? Yes, I was getting out, that was a hard bit, yeah. That was... I even walked through the big like gateway thing, and I didn't teleport anyway, I just felt a crushing force as I stepped through. And you survived this? But yeah. help, significant help, yes. We survived, but when we re She addresses that specifically to Eric, by the way. That is that question. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. There's a crushing force, right. 
Mm. Ton, ton, ton. We find out that Eric's been dead all along. <laughs> yeah. um, when we when we reemerged, their months had passed. Sorry, reemerged from the teleport through station. The, through the temple. Lord Janus gave Eric the jewel, and he used that to teleport us out. And it was those months later. What did the old god ask for this gift? And she's like gesturing to the, the hammer and staring directly at Eric. Nothing. I asked him for a favour and he didn't say a word. He just moved his hands and like gestured. So I complied as best as I could. She leans back as if being told something very discomforting. And then... Um, you can see her like straightening out like her kind of robe that she let go of earlier and um, that she had, had folded over her arm and she starts like kind of flying out again with one of her hands kind of almost nervously and she says I wouldn't be so dismissive of making an arrangement with one of the older darker gods I mean it's not the first time I have an arrangement with someone powerful so you're talking about that openly I see. About, I suppose, yeah. It's said now. I think at this point you just realise the eyes aren't blue. At this point, maybe right. maybe as an audience would notice this, um, and then people that rewind the DVD, if you will, and uh, <laughs> press play again, realise that since he's actually walked into this room with her in the office, the eyes haven't been blue. Eric's eyes or yeah, Eric's. Dory's. Just Dory's eyes aren't blue, so yeah. They're a weird purpley color. That was right, not her eyes. Yeah. So um, yeah, she's a uh, quite oh, like yeah, you've put her, you've made her uncomfortable. Um, and she's obviously said, "Don't think lightly of uh, that." You're talking openly about it. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose at some point people need to know. Mm -hmm. I think you most of all. Yeah, I want to know more myself in all, in all honesty. This is a very dangerous path you seem to all be on. You would know if you've been, it's been no keeping so an far. eye on us. Yeah. And should I just... You can clearly see that she's picking which question of the eight million to ask, and then <laughs> um, she finally like picks one, and she says, "Gifts from dark gods aside, why?" And she stops herself. She goes, "The child. Tell me more of the child." This is where I just lean back. He's our friend, and he was under our protection. Any idea why your father would want him? Why your father took him? Why your father didn't even think of him as a child? And then she, um... She seems to be, like, pressing her lips together. And she's just slowly nodding her head, very slowly. Like almost Drax levels of invisibility, that level of <laughs> And um, she uh, raises a hand and the entire room turns to like a kind of purpley blue crystal. Like there's no detail at all. Anything you're sat on is now like a multifaceted crystal. Um, the food that was once in front, all crystal. The room, uh, entirely like a big kind of crystal encasement. The I, the table, uh, like all the stuff on it flattens into itself. It all makes that kind of horrible crunching, kind of almost glass sound as it all folds in and the facets slowly get removed um, as if the polygon count's going down. Um, <laughs> and then the room simplifies. And all the time, like, you can see, like, kind of coursing kind of cyan energy like come from her open palm as she's holding it up, her eyes glowing very, very bright purple, and then um, the room shifts, and then she like clutches her fist, 
and then you hear like one big kind of almost glass metallic clanking sound and just hope you all understand what that means and then mm -hmm. she goes let me speak freely for once finally we might start getting answers please speak I don't require your permission, and I think you'll find it best to hold your tongue. I was I wasn't meaning it like a. She puts a hand up to you, her, like our open, like our free hand, if you will, not the one that mm -hmm. she's still holding a fist in there to. Um, mm -hmm. And she just waves her hand over you. You can't speak if you try. Okay. <laughs> Global <laughs> mute. <laughs> and then she uh, she turns to the group and she says. I tried to keep the child from him. And that's where we end the session. I knew hmm. it. So yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> about to get real. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> you said you said her eyes were purple. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do I remember correctly the Celeste have purple eyes? No. Oh my god, I was literally just about to say, I, I, I think Cele Gestoria is Celeste. When you looked into Celeste's eyes, they were like red, were but void. when you looked closer, they were like starfields. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, when I think of stars, I think of blues and purples, so... Okay, That's probably why I made that connection, so... Yeah. yeah wrong. No, I, I was... Yep. I was, I was literally. But they might be in cahoots. Yeah. yeah. No, I was literally going to ask her. Does the name just uh, Celeste mean anything to you? This might be a good thing for a uh, the next time to ask then. Oh yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Not, like, let's, first uh, order business. Let's yep. uh, we'll save all this part of the chat for the the wrap up chat. Let's talk about goals, right? So mm -hmm. you have spoke to her about the situation. Mm -hmm. That is a conversation that just happened. You so, you have finally completed that goal. <laughs> that was nice and easy. Right? <laughs> Only took how many sessions? <laughs> but that's the thing. Things are going to do that. So let's bump that over. Um, everybody gets, what would that be? 400 XP? Very cool. Whoop, whoop. Bump oh, that over. 5,050, everyone, in total. What are we at? 5050. Hawaii five oh five oh. Right, some, five, five, oh, five, oh. someday on the game manager, move over to the excuse me, completed list. I don't know, rush to I'm log there. in at once. Oh, I'm doing it. I know, I know, buddy. Uh, <laughs> what color did we make that one? It's, How do you even make it's a medium. Mm, fill color. That? No. Oh no, god, no. God. <laughs> what color are we using? That? That? Yeah. There you go. Uh, so that is achieved. And how do you strike? I'm going to pop that onto the tracker for myself as well to let you know that he's got 400. Oh. This one. It was nice though. It was a long time coming that goal. Um, mm. To get that. Everybody has added their XP to their total now, yes, just whoop before whoop. we move on. Sophie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have, I think. Sophie. <laughs> I'm on my tablet. It's, it's difficult. It's okay, but you have done it, and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> um, right, now, what would you like your new goal to be? Does anybody have any pressing ideas right now? I guess get Erymos back. I. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, I He's one I of ours, so don't gonna, leave people behind. I was going to say, first of all, let's try and find out more information about him, because obviously mm. Gestoria knows, like, find out why, sorry, let me rephrase it, find out why Gestoria was keep trying to keep him away from the king. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with that. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've come up. But what was your uh, thoughts? Let's let's go down the line, right? So, Eric, right? Uh, we'll just start from the top. Um, anything you would want to set as the goal? Me or Eric? 
But uh, me, I'm completely fine with um, trying to figure out what this Jastorian knows about Eros. I was going to say, those are two different uh, goals then, because what Crumbar said was find out why she wanted to keep him from the king, not find out more about him, if that makes sense. Because her yeah. motivations are different from Eremos. <laughs> so those are two different goals. Yeah, I guess uh, possibly like um, keeping. Uh, no, let me, let me start again. <laughs> Do you want me to come Try back to you? Like, Would it be better if I started um, with a. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Um, no, trying to understand Jastori's motivations behind trying to keep Eremos away from the Wizard King. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And Arya? Maybe? We got you. You with us? There we go. Oh, I, I, I just muted myself because I muted the uh, for me, it's all like, I don't know, this entire session has been a bit like, oh shit, what do we do now? <laughs> mm. um, so I'm, I'm a bit confused as to what we're going from now. And I would, I'm saying that in and out of character. Cause well, I let's let's answer that lost. question then, right? So what, what would you want to achieve next for Arya and the party? Because keep in mind, that can be two different motivations. Yeah. So, what is next for Arya? Like, in Adri's head? I think she'd want Teramos back. Like, she sees him as one of the party. If mm -hmm. any one of us from the party had been kidnapped, then she'd want them back. So I yeah. think that's like a short-term goal for her. Um, obviously, after speaking a bit more with Jastoria and finding out if there's a list between her and Celeste. Mm -hmm. Um... And, well, long term, we still have to eventually go to, oh god, what was the name? Because we stopped here in the, yeah, Glitterhagen, because we stopped here in the, on the way. We weren't meant to stay here for long. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think we, I should, we should keep that in the long term, but I would very much like, in the short term, to like, look towards getting Aramos back, that would be her priority. I like how getting Eremos back is short term compared to go to Glitterhagen. It's an interesting I viewpoint. I know, we'll probably end up doing it the other way around, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, good. Uh, Crumbar? Yeah. Do you wanna, like, what's Scott's next step for Crumbar? Scott's next step is. We finally have a chance to get some insight information about Eremos. So I want to know what, why Justoria tried to keep him from the Wizard King and what she knows about him. Mm. There's a few questions I want to ask her. Another one being like, did she know who he was when we arrived with him? Mm, right. Because she acted like she didn't have a clue. Yeah. But maybe she was just doing that to uh, throw, it off, throw us off. Yeah, because nothing's been ever like underhand with your story ever, right? <laughs> no, not at all. That's not a pun Did about the basement full of hands, by the way. She's totally <laughs> fucking Celeste, or she's... There's, there's some relationship there. I mean, I both that. single good-looking women, they can do what they like with each other. Yep. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, okay, so Kitty, and also by extension Sophie, what's uh, what's Sophie's <laughs> next steps for Kitty? She just wants the platter back. <laughs> yeah, I just want a bag of infinite food. Um, <laughs> but with the monk saying that it's an arcane... Ar mm -hmm. uh, the arcane thing? Yeah, but, your affliction? Yeah. Yeah, and that Justoria would be able to help. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, my focus is to sort of stay around her, really. Okay, yeah, um, good. I was hoping that was going to be the case, yeah. You've literally got direct access to possibly the best person for your... Because um... mm, 
Dilemma. Like I would have tried to have been in contact with her at some point, but because I was just like, you know, not worth the time, mm -hmm. the, I just kept getting fobbed off. Yeah, it's not like you can just push the. I have you know a ticket to go see the princess. Yeah. Yeah. Until you got literally a ticket to go see the princess. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. To be fair though, Celeste did say, "If you help, you'll get." What do you need? Yep. I'm not going to say she's delivering, but <laughs> she seems to be delivering, even if yous aren't. <laughs> so yeah. Because you still owe her a black fanged spear. Well, we had it. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah. Just say In it. our defense, she did not tell us where to delivery. deliver it. Yeah. yeah. All she said was, kind of get it? And I was like, right. Then yeah. she'll show up. We yeah, but to a bargain. To be fair, you did take it to the abyss. Yeah. Eventually, it took us <laughs> weeks to get it there. <laughs> it did. It did take you ages to get there. To be honest, and then there's a missing two months, and then <laughs> she had plenty of time to show up. She's put in so many complaint letters to her Amazon <laughs> delivery <laughs> team. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's interesting. What's then? Let's see. You were writing the particle then. Sophie, what would you? How would you word it? And I don't mean based on what other people have said. I mean, if you were going to write it, what would you do? Well, it firstly be to find out more information about how I can reverse what I've done to myself. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's more of an individual goal than an actual party goal. Because mm -hmm. the party one would be obviously to find out more about what the heck Eremos even is, because like, he just didn't even seem like a living being to the king. He just literally was... It's like he was seeing the spear and we were seeing the, like... The it's Aramos. illusion. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think we can still have individual party go. I don't mean each of us have one. I mean, your individual one would still be a valid party go. Probably not long-term, but definitely Yeah, short agreed. Term. Like, completely. Mm. It doesn't need to be a group-worded thing. It can be party help Kitty get new shoes. You know. Yeah. For example... <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's that's totally a thing. Because let's face it, if you can think of something that can, can be completed within a session, right? If you have put in something that involves the equivalent of some kind of challenge, so that it's worth experience, then if you complete it in a in a session, yeah, that can happen, and we can obviously adjust the goal moving forward. Um, doesn't always need to be. Here's our current quest. Um, you have been given your quest deliver the Black Fang Spear to Celeste and then you know, ideally save the world I think was the gist of it um, yeah. so and Eric's was tag along with these guys because I told you to because <laughs> um, they, they can help me yeah, solve your problem uh, also that seems to be paying off quite frankly Yeah. Um, so really I mean Celeste is actually you know, 5 for 5 I think uh, maybe minus the eight years of Reach's life she just took yeah. Um, but yeah we'll get back to that <laughs> the I guess yeah like so how would you word it then like just see if she can cure it would you like would you undo it if you got the option to that's kind of more yeah good we'll keep that in mind Reach and Stu. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually curious about how we get Eremos back. Mm. Wait, so where is he going? And is there any chance we could get him back? Mm. She may have a good Well, you know where he's gone. He's gone with the Wizard King. Yeah, and I'd assume to one of two places. I doubt he's back to the uh, uh, forest that we found him in, because that obviously was not secure enough, so probably to the Middle Island. Yeah, like the well, capital. I mean, if we're going to Glatterhagen, we can swing by the tower and see if he's there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. It was Kenny on the way. That's why it's... Oh, right, yeah. The it, island's... It isn't, Kenny half but it's... As well. You could easily just get, if you paid enough money, you could get a boat to the bottom of the like the forest. So you'd go to Glatterhagen, yeah. chart a cheap boat, head over to just north of Shadowport, which is... A kind of really really dodgy place you don't ever really want to go if you don't want stabbed 
Um, but if you're looking for black market stuff, go there. Um, get a boat there, head north for like a couple of days, and you'll be back at the tower. Yeah, that would take probably, I think, all in when you get to Glitterhagen, say a week to get there, back to the tower. So you could you could definitely try and retrace it, yeah. Um, that is an option. But yeah, so definitely it's most likely that the king has taken the Eremos, obviously, wherever the king wants to. But you need to ask yourself then, would he put him back in the tower? I would doubt he would put him back in the tower. Why would he leave him in the tower? As well. In the first place. Yeah, good question. So there's. Which is yeah. all things that just sort of could kind of hint to, or even just by fi figuring out where they could be, is mm. all that comes under it, kind of. Which so is strange because, again, when she was speaking to Arya, obviously this is the meta level of us now for every day. When she was saying to Arya, she's like, oh, I detected a surge of power here, and then I spotted you guys, and then there was some weird stuff here in the sea. And then again yeah. here in the abyss. Yeah. None of that seemed to hint at uh, I either tracking us or tracking him. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, I think that's kind of what she's. Im but it doesn't. The way she puts that across, though, and oh. then it does. I was gonna say just making noise. Um, <laughs> to be fair, Eric has been making a lot of noise um, <laughs> with thunderclaps and thunder waves. Really? Noise. Me? No. <laughs> I just cast under wave just to reply. <laughs> but, um, the way she put it across to Arya definitely didn't seem like she'd maneuvered you there. The initial conversation with Arya. It wasn't like she was... Mm. Like, I would let Arya have rolled, like, insight and stuff if there was something to glean from, like, a potential deception, if that made sense. Mm. So yeah, there definitely seems to be a... You seem to be here. That was interesting. I thought, oh, I'll keep it out. And then, hmm. this was interesting here. So I kept watching. And then, by that point, I thought I'd just send letters to you here. To say, <laughs> maybe we'll have a chat. <laughs> um, so yeah, she has been very vague about everything. Um definitely her trying to source what you can and you've obviously done enough to get her trust to the point where she has activated privacy mode <laughs> on this room um, which doesn't look like it isn't a lot of effort put it that way um, she's obviously strong enough to stop whatever weird surveillance stuff's going on with Eric uh, as well without him even kind of noticing and yeah there's a lot going on so, based on everybody's little chat there, what's the new goal going to be? I'd say find out Justoria's relationship with Eremos. Yeah, that could be a good short-term thing to find out a bit more about how the pieces all connect. Together, yeah. And if she has any connection to Celeste, I'd say that too. Like, we need more information, and then, as it was pointed out, they might actually go to Glitterhagen first, and then try to find Eremos. I think it's safe to say that the king's not gonna kill Eremos, because if he did that, he would. if, if that was the thing, he would have done it in front of us. Mm -hmm. I don't think he Just even saying. thinks he's alive. Like, he's calling him a thing. Mm. A tool. Yeah, I don't think he'd kill him. I think he needs him too much. So if, it, if it we're still in the game and they gave you inspiration for that, that's brilliant. I mean, he is a tool, but... Uh, <laughs> 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 Such a catty response. <laughs> Sorry, mm, catty cool response. To swim. <laughs> yeah. That's true. You did. So, right, so the goal is to find about Justora, Eremos, and the uh, relationship and where he is. <laughs> so, the goal is the entire campaign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, what is everybody's first priority, right? You're in a room made of crystal with the princess of the world, and she's just told you she tried to keep Eremos out of her dad's hands. Bam. Find out Justoria's relationship with 
Arrow. She is unrelated to Aramos. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> yeah. No challenge, you know, no XP. You know Done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not his auntie. <laughs> so, yeah. Find out why Jastoria was trying <laughs> to keep <laughs> Aramos away from the king. Alright, so let's type this in chat and we'll get everybody to look at the wording and everything and we'll see if we right. can refine it. So, do you want to type it up Find for me? Out type your. What and we'll get this sorted because I think it's. Just that. Find out what Jastoria knows about Aeromoth. Um, do you want to adjust or reword or anything? Or add to it or change it or whatever? Like. This is the point, and we'll we'll type up. I mean, type it up because I forget words. Other than I think that's right, more like bottom. Nope. <laughs> yeah. nope. Don't nope. worry, I'll Was sort out all. I'll I'll, I'll <laughs> fix all the spelling because you're wrong. <laughs> but it's fine. We'll deal with that in a second. So, it's Jess Doria. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> We were 50 50. <laughs> yeah, together. Yeah. <laughs> you just make a palette. It's completely <laughs> wrong. Um, but yeah. So. Happy with that then? Find out what Gistoria knows about Eremos? Yeah, go for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was Eremos? It's Eremos. It is an ass. It was a, it was a joke to our reach. Oh no, this is Erasmus, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah Erasmus. Find Greek. out yeah. what Gestoria knows about Eremos. Okie dokie. Uh, just kind of tell you now, that's an easy call. I was oh, thinking yeah. it's pretty much guaranteed to happen in very big. I mean, yeah, like, like there is the only well, level of challenge is if somehow Crumbar just picks up his hammer and swings for her jaw, right? Yeah, <laughs> which is not impossible. Uh, I mean, he's I mean, maybe even lately. <laughs> he just can't speak at the moment, so <laughs> yeah. Um, right, we've got a goal. That's good. We're sorted. Keep in mm. mind, guys, we'll have a goal chat at the start of next session as well. So if you think of anything you just want to like change it to or whatever, like keep in mind, we have a group chat. Feel free to prod people, etc., etc. Uh, there's no issue with uh, that at all. Thank you, uh, mysterious Excel powers that be. And let's do our wrap up chat then. So let's be crazy and start with K. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you find that um. session? <laughs> It was interesting. It's like quite a big step forward in sort of my little story. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, I was just going to try and convince the others to help, I guess. Like, maybe do I even want their help? I don't know, it depends on what needs doing, really, but... Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, I think so. I think it's um, quite a big deal. It's a... Uh... It's also the end of chapter three, which I think is quite interesting. Um, mm. Yeah, never really told you that part yet, but I was waiting for that no. bombshell <laughs> right there. Um, but yeah, so I think it is interesting because, again, from a party player dynamic, learning more about this unusual cat lady, and then people referring to her as afflicted, um, etc. Uh, it is. It's super interesting to kind of get these tidbits of people's information. Obviously, even the meta knowledge of the secret conversations Eric's having with uh, priests in secret rooms. Like mm -hmm. you start to like learn that characters have like facets of complexity to them beyond uh, I'm the guy that shoots lightning or I'm the cat that eats. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's also interesting because obviously there could be a massive development in your character uh, depending on choices you make coming up soon, which should be. Really interesting to see how that goes for Kitty, to be honest. So I'm, I'm actually quite excited because we might get like a new version of Kitty, depending on how that develops, mm. which would be interesting. We'll have to actually make some time to chat about that one-on-one. Uh, yeah. -on -one. So we need to pencil in some... Uh, I'm actually just going to write that down so I don't forget that. Um, Sophie character chat. So that we and you actually have that. <laughs> 
Yeah. We all should do that at some point because I actually have a couple of questions I need answers to because it will affect mechanics or so yeah. anything. But we'll chat about that in private. Um just for what could happen and what will happen. Um because nothing may happen. Uh yeah. anything else you want to add? No. Good, good. I'm gonna take this opportunity to rem to remind you you have a cool ass dagger that I need you to throw I know, at, I at really some point. I haven't <laughs> I haven't just not really had a chance to use it like yeah, oh. um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to add to that because I'm like, did she forget she has it? Because it's really what cool. Does, what, what does she need to do with it? Nothing. It's all. Oh. It's, it's just something she'll she'll reveal at some point when it becomes the opportune moment. But I can't wait for it, quite frankly. Um, but yeah, she's had it since the boat trip from Glitterhagen to the south, uh, and it's. Oh, I'm excited. Um, let's just go with. Arya, next. Maybe. Well. <laughs> am I? Yes, you can hear yep. me now. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well. So, right, so see for the t-shirts we all get made with our character quotes. You're just going to be, <laughs> sorry I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not the only one, though. I don't. <laughs> <I'm kidding. clears throat> really? Um. But just saying, um, I don't know. I mean, I really enjoyed the session. Mm -hmm. And I was like, even though I kind of feel like it it, it ruined my, my world a little bit, because I'm like, um, we, we had this plan and we were doing shit and now he stole the kid from us. And now I'm like, oh, I want to go on this like murderous rampage, like give me back my friend. But I also need like, I, I also know that he could like kill us with plus like... Eremos was like your little bodyguard as well I know which <laughs> was cute but anyway no <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm 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 a bit broken hard over that but I, I have faith that we'll, we'll get him back I'm just a bit lost now as to what we're gonna do first and what's gonna happen next so that's quite like you know how you sometimes have something that replies to one of your questions but then it makes you have like 10 more that's the sort of mind frame I'm in right mm -hmm. now, so it's uh, it's interesting. It's it's I mean it's fun overall, but still. So that's kind of what this entire session has been for me. Yeah, there was quite a lot of info dump to be honest in there. I think you having a million questions about things is the same as like those priests being like, "Oh my god, this is so interesting. Please tell us all about you, Mister Strange Blue Man." And then also just story being like, so you just read in the abyss, please won't tell me more. The demons things, and then somebody says it was a big demon, and she's like, oh my god, why wasn't I there? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, so I could maybe describe the demon as better than just a big demon. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, it was super interesting. It was interesting to see almost um, Arya almost yeah, I guess go Mama Bear again near the end, and that kind of yes. kind of need to hold back. Yeah, plus you've got his book as well, so you know how much yeah. he's going to be a bit distraught without that. So. Yeah. Also, I'm thinking, like, sometimes there are certain kinds of magics you can use if you have an object well, belonging yeah, definitely. to somebody. So we'll, we'll probably try to see if we can find somebody that can wield that sort of magic so that we can probably use it as a tracking device. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like, like high-level scrying magic, yeah, there. definitely. Um, yeah, we should probably be able to find somebody like that, I hope. Um <laughs> Sorry, Justoria is just coughing and clearing her throat in the corner. Um, yeah, yeah, no reason. yeah. I, I figured, I figured I'd be. <laughs> and she would be the first person I'd ask. Don't worry, I already thought of that. But then, it's just the the but idea. Then, would that be trackable in reverse by the person mm. that you're trying to track? You know, yeah. Assuming Indeed. they're still together. <laughs> Mm. I know, I know. It's interesting though, because that's the part where you have to make all these decisions to kind of explore it going forward. Um, anything else you want to add? Um, no, other than I'm really sorry, don't hate me, but you you guys don't have me next week. It's okay, mm -hmm. we'll cover that in a second. Uh, yep, yep. Let's go for it, Crumbar, <laughs> you're up next. I'm not going to lie, I loved squaring off with the kid. Plus, it was one of the few people that didn't just outright dismiss you. Mm -hmm. Also showed you, like respect for the order. Believe it or not. Yeah. Um, described you as having barbarian blood, not calling you a barbarian. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, yeah. I enjoyed that. I thought it was quite an interesting exchange um, mm -hmm. between both I'd, of you. I'd, I'd like all that. That made me happy. As I said, there was a lot of moments in that conversation where I was like, if you didn't already have it, I'd have given you inspiration. But mm -hmm. you already have it, you hoarding bastard. Um, <laughs> I was actually saving it for later for uh, uh, later on in a something I was going to try and do with the king but mm. yeah tickled him <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that, that didn't work out um, yeah if the actual dad besides yeah you're free of Aramos <laughs> no because it's like god damn it man like you've mourned the boom. he just doesn't <laughs> like the fact that he was stolen right yeah it's like I don't care that I thought he was a little shit but he was our little shit you kind of go exactly ahead, you know uh, yeah <laughs> uh, yeah no I, I really liked it and uh, I'm interested to see what happens next with Justoria I've got hundreds of questions mm. uh, it's maybe worth actually then seeing the group chat as well maybe posing your wish list of questions then so everybody doesn't just go blah, 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 to her <laughs> yeah that would be a all good of idea them, all of them yeah, um, reach ended chapter 3 yeah so is yeah, that what you said that that's was, what yeah, I said that, yep. yeah that's interesting yeah mm. that's, we I found another so. mm. appears as though we found another ally that's Mm. I wouldn't jump the gun too quickly, but it appears that way. It definitely seems like you have her attention and she has yours, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's go that far. Um, she trusts you enough to put on privacy mode as well, yep. Uh, it's <laughs> the magical equivalent of airplane mode, I believe. Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, what was your thoughts about this session and besides potential ally? That was the main thing, um, to be honest. You um, survived it? That was good. Did. I didn't yeah. even. I sat down a wee bit, but mm -hmm. other than that, that's closest to go to the ground. Yeah. But yeah, that's good. Good for the old uh, law of averages. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Another episode. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I think um, your success rate in this is uh, the best I think you've had so far. Um, although, oh. in the other game, I don't think. Like the Iron King, I don't think you've ever. Have you? You went down in that? You'd, you've not. You're fine. Can't remember. No, I haven't. Nah. Not, but yeah. You're fine. You're all good. Um, different. Anything else you want to add for? In fact, I was the tank and the damage dealer in that, being a mage. Yes, was, you were the uh, Rambo yeah, equivalent just, of the mage. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, You're yeah. shooting yourself with lightning and running into the forest. <laughs> 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 Nothing else really nah that's okay that's yeah, yeah no worries just want to see you next week's so, or oh, yeah. next one yeah definitely agreed and then last but not least Eric yeah it's been uh, interesting uh, I decided that Eric would have um, got a little bit wiser about his um, shiny blueness mm-hmm and um, he wouldn't like just be telling everybody left, right, and center who he doesn't believe is important. So that priest not important in his eyes, so he can do one. Yeah, it was the equivalent of like <laughs> a scholar getting his hands on a a book he hadn't read. Really, that was yeah. Uh, he, was, he was too eager, not not very trustworthy. What was that creepy eyes. hand ringing and really in your face? What do you mean not trustworthy? Yeah. <laughs> Cartoon villain esque style. I was like, nope. <laughs> they call me the royal vizier. <laughs> I mean something comforting. Yeah, definitely. It definitely had that creepy. You're far too close to me. Please stand at least a foot away. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and so then, like, I do that to everyone. So. Yeah. And even when you took a step back and you bumped into like the younger one who was like tending to your wounds as well, it's like, oh god, I'm actually surrounded. Please get away from me right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Uh, quite a few. I, w I don't want to say eye-opening moments for Eric because that seems too obvious. Um, but yeah, I think quite a good session for a bunch of. I know, reach. I know, a bunch of step forward for um, a bunch of plots there because definitely a lot of development for Kitty and Eric specifically. Um, yeah. And then angering the parents of the group, being like what Crumbar and Arya, which is the 
unwanting father of Eremos, the very protective <laughs> mother of Eremos, and then Reach being the cool uncle of Eremos that teaches him all the stuff that his dad won't teach him. Um, so <laughs> Reach is the brother of Arya, and Arya and Kumba had an unwanted love child. That's how I'm going to take this. That seems to be the only explanation. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Not to just lose all of our one audience member. <laughs> <laughs> just on that description alone. Anything I should add to the wrap up chat there, Eric? Um, yeah, I've got some questions for Justoria about because she seems to have not been phased that I had blue eyes and blue scar. So questions, questions, questions need to be answered. Mm. Well, to be fair, you asked her questions. She didn't want to answer, so it's not like she's going to then prod you for stuff that's rude you know she's very polite put it that way um like before she ever got down to business she offered everybody food and drink like um yeah. she might have got that from her dad though because her dad did the very same thing with you do you know what i mean uh it was like a would you like food Which, and drink? <laughs> i tried this the reason why i didn't say anything is because i just i don't want to bring attention to that i've actually met this guy yeah um he also never brought it up either so, yeah, just like, thank God he's not mentioning it. Yeah. <laughs> More like he had uh, the Golden Order to deal with, uh, since it was both Reach and Crumber that mostly addressed him. Um, yeah, loud and mouthy. Um, it's also interesting, because obviously, as I said to you, there's a bit of tension between like the Golden Order, what they represent, and the Wizard King. So it's interesting that if that's the point of like contention, the, the, you know, in the world, it's interesting he would take the time to address them, as opposed to say, "You guy I met in the red space, talk to me now." <laughs> I fed you. You slept in my bed. <laughs> Everyone else goes, "Wait, what?" <laughs> and you came out naked. Wait, what? Why did you leave your clothes in my room? <laughs> <laughs> he's actually wearing. He's wearing your robe like a hoodie. You know. <laughs> <laughs> OTP, um, <laughs> but yeah, like no, it's, it was it was interesting that there was no kind of acknowledgement of that interaction at all, really. Um, but yeah, I think that's got to be interesting. Uh, I think we're on to session title now. I have a suggestion. I've had it typed up for ages. I'm just going to post it now. We can all cringe now, um, because mm. it's also the name of a fantasy series. So, any actual suggestions? <laughs> Don't all shout at once. Yeah, no right. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna for the people at home, uh Aragon is what I said because I'm hilarious that way. Um Okay. King's Inquisition. Yes, because he he um, It did start with the word explain. Exactly. And then <laughs> there was more and more questions from him. Mm. Well, it did. We could put royal instead because uh, the princess also <laughs> was hammering us with questions. I think what I'll do is I'll type in chapter three's title to help you with that one, shall I? Which is royalty. Why don't the doors work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my tool. Um, and then there were five. God, that's 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 heartbreaking. <laughs> Sad boy hours. Mm. <laughs> Letters for a friend. Um, what else have we got? I'm trying to think what else happened. So it started off with. 20 foot crystal man, angry, not so 20 foot king man, um, polite princess. See, I'm concerned <laughs> about what, like, who the gold dude with the crowns and stuff, who he's like answering to in a sense, because we thought Justoria was just being a sneaky sneaky but it turns out she was being a sneaky sneaky for us mm -hmm. right so if that's going behind a dad's back it's like is that creature working for a dad but then why would he turn up oh. and like get pissed off that 
it had attacked his daughter. Well, he probably thought we had something to do with it. Mm. Not I'm because it was our own doing. I'm still wanting to know why it had gold about it. Mm. You know, that's really concerning. I mean, you try, oh. you try to say, Scott, it wasn't really obvious. I mean, it's the ash beneath your feet. It's your pride undone, you know, your confidence broken. <laughs> it's, also edgy Mc, it's, it's Edgy McEdgelord. <laughs> That's Royal Edgy McEdgelord to you. <laughs> it's actually just a Burger King, to be honest. So, <laughs> If we remember next session, we should probably tell the story of the cultists in the abyss uh, yelled for the king. They did indeed, yeah. Mm. I don't know whether that was just Reach who heard that though. I can't remember. No, no, you're right. No, I think a bunch of you heard it. I don't remember the specifics of who mm -hmm. heard it, but I feel like a bunch of you probably heard it. Yeah. Yeah, they did scream for the king. That's correct. Um, yeah. Fuck the king. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. There, there is so much to unpack. Quite frankly. Um, I think um, <laughs> I mean the king didn't like friends clearly let's see I'm trying to think of a way to like summarise like Eremos's exit without you saying exit Eremos because um, that seems too on the nose but I feel like there's a way to try and tie in your friend is gone I don't know how to, to word that. Hmm. <laughs> Eximos. That sounds how more to like lose a spell. A friend? <laughs> yeah. How to lose friends and influence people? How to lose No, no, how to lose a friend. Hmm. <laughs> Erebi, isn't it as fun as uh, Eximos? I like Exmos. That's just because I like the word Exodus. Um, any winners here, guys, or anything else that stands out? Um, trying to think what else we're going to suggest. If we had a live chat, aka multiple people watching live, could could you just type in some some suggestions, please? Thanks, Kipa. Um, hmm. Let's see. Summarizing the whole thing. There were horrible, creepy hands. Then the king ex said, "Explain." Then the story was also there, and the twenty-foot guy was there too. And then he's moved. I suppose there's a lot of teleporting, as well. Lots of teleporting. Um. Hmm. What else we got? Unless there's one that's already been typed up that everybody's happy with. Points why don't the doors work? My favourite. <laughs> <laughs> if we we're gonna do like long titles, it'd be like you know, for somewhere with so many doors that don't work. Um, shifting sights. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Do tools dream of electric bats? Oh god. Oh. Do black fang spears dream of inky bats? Yeah. Oh dear, so good. So, so good. Oh, that's the weird cocoon's problem now, and by proxy, the king. Um, hmm. What about just exits? Exits isn't a terrible, simple name. Um, oh, I don't. E ten I T was that it? X I E ten T. I think that's a red dwarf one, <laughs> but yeah, that was uh, uh, mm. it's a puzzle that the cat got. But yeah, that's when they all knew they were dreaming. Uh. Hmm. This one's a tough one, actually, isn't it? Mm. I think we're overthinking it, though. Let's just go and pick something. What are we going to go for? 
because if we're going to put votes on it, we've got how to lose a friend, we've got Aragon actually has a vote from Arya. Um, it deserves a vote, yeah. We should have uh, Magnet, because we've all been Magnet. You stole it. Mm. Like, as if it's a verb? You've been yes. Magnet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh dear. Um, hmm. Former friends is an option as well, um, I guess. Magnet. <laughs> uh, weirdly, I thought Chow was a suggestion there you'd put in chat. Um, <laughs> and I suppose, it's like, uh, I, mean, I guess it's valid. Um, <laughs> uh, what about something like Where To or Where Next as well? Because those are options. See, if we're going to put Eremos exit, I'd rather it would just say exit Eremos. Because that feels more like kind of the staging instructions. Mm. That was one of my earlier suggestions. That's, that's manga, but that'll do. <laughs> Stage manga. I mean magna. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey magna, leave that kid alone. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I quite like that too. I had a bit of smiley face on my own option, exit like Aramos. Um, right, so so far that's winning is uh, Aragon seems to be winning so far, except exit Aramos now seems to be matching it. Uh, Stu, Kitty, what we thought? What are we thinking? I'm not too fussed. Um, they're all quite funny suggestions so it's like I had to pick just one. Yeah, I think the most votes so far seem to be on Aragon or Exit Aramos. Mm. What do you prefer? Aragon. Aragon? Reach? I'll go for Aragon as well. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Ari hyphen gone. Uh, Please don't sue us, people that wrote the Aragon series. It's an homage, honest. Um, and then I'll pop that down there. We are done. Uh, goodbye, everybody who listened. Thank you so far through our naming conventions. Um, thanks, everybody, for playing. Uh, two people have dropped off uh, as they had to leave early through this. Uh, see everybody next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.